let's take a look at this board in front of us here and we'll notice it's uh, White's turn to move and what we want to know is uh, how often White can win this game obviously uh, White is behind here and to answer this question we need to know uh, what exactly the dice odds for this game are so uh, well you know there are two dice uh, one and two there and uh, we know that each dice has six sides so each dice has six sides. We know that there's 36 combinations, and we get that from taking six sides uh, times six potential uh, ways a dice can be rolled, and that gives us six times six is equal to 36. And the question we have here is uh, how many ways can we get each combination? So, uh, well, if you look at the one combination, there's uh, two ones, which uh, ends up giving us four moves in this game. There's uh, one way that can happen, and there was 36 combinations total, so 1 out of 36 comes out to about 2.78%. Now, a uh, 1 out of 2 uh, can be rolled uh, two different ways, uh, 1, 2, or 2, 1, and uh, there's 36 uh, possible rolls we could have, which comes out to 5.56%. Now, uh, one and three is going to be the same. So is one and four, and one and five, and one and six. So those percentages are all the same there. Now let's say we roll two twos. Well, uh, it's the same odds as one one, and there's only one way in 36 uh, possible ways that we can roll it. That comes out to 2.78 percent. Same with threes. Same with two fours two fives and two sixes. Now let's look at uh, two, a two and a three. Well, uh, that's going to be the same odds as one and a two through one and a six, which is going to be two and thirty-six or five point five six percent, and the same for two four, two five, two six, a three and a four, three and a five, three and a six, four and a five, four and a six, and of course the five and a six. Now the question uh, we look at here is uh, how often white can win? Well, uh, if we go back to our chart here, uh, if you look at this board, uh, white has four pieces white has to get home. And uh, unfortunately, uh, white can only uh, do this in one roll. And if you look at uh, the farthest piece out is six, so white essentially has to roll four sixes to win. And the odds of rolling, uh, or get four sixes, the odds of rolling two sixes uh, to get to double to four sixes is uh, 1 in 36, or 2.78 percent. So basically this means uh, white is going to lose 97.22 percent of the time and win 2.78 uh, percent of the time. Now let's take a look at uh, some more uh, basic situations. Let's say uh, white or green needs to roll a 7 and we want to know what the odds of rolling a uh, 7 are because there's no uh, specific 7 die here. So let's look at this uh, diagram above and we see 1 and a 6 that's a 7, 2 and a 5 is 7 and so is 3 and 4. So uh, the odds of getting a 7, there's a 6 possibilities in 36, or 1 in 6, which comes out to 16.67%. That's the odds of, uh, if you needed to get a 7 um, in Bakuman, those are the odds of getting that. Now, of course, if you um, were to take away one or two of those options, let's say uh, the two didn't work, uh, then those odds obviously decrease. Now let's take a look at the odds of, okay, let's say we're toward the end of the game and we need to roll a 7 or better. Well, uh, in that case, we uh, would keep these options here and then we'd add uh, a few, any options that are greater than 7 on the board, which comes out to quite a few. And if we count all this out, we get it to 23 out of 36 uh, dice that can roll a 7 or higher. And uh, that comes out to 63.89%. Uh, now let's take a look at a, uh, another uh, end of game situation. And we want to know how often uh, white wins in uh, this particular game. 
and it's obviously White's turn to move. If you'd like to hit pause, uh, go ahead and do so. I'll walk through how you'd figure this out. Now, if we look uh, below here, there are uh, five spaces total for White. And we get that because uh, there's three pieces that have to move one space, and there's one piece that has to move two spaces. Now, so basically there's four pieces to move for uh, White. And if you go back to this odds here, um, if White were to roll any of these uh, things highlighted, two through six, uh, White will automatically win. And uh, so basically White can win in one turn. And those odds are five and 36, or 13.89%. So those are the chances of uh, White winning in one turn. So we put this up here, we win five and 36. But uh, let's say white does not uh, win. Well, then uh, green has uh, one particular chance. Now, if you'll notice the amount of spaces green has to move are five and four. So that means green has to roll two fives or better, meaning it can either roll two fives or two sixes. Now, if you look at the odds of that, um, that comes out to 1 in 36 plus 1 in 36, so that's 2 in 36, or 1 in 18, which comes out to 5.56%. Uh, so, uh, there is a 5.56% chance that uh, white will lose if uh, green rolls uh, that those uh, fives are better. But now we have to figure out what are the odds of uh, white winning are and uh, out of these uh, 36 uh, possible rolls uh, 31 are going to end in uh, green having a chance to win uh, 5 are going to end in uh, er, the game's going to end because white's going to win so 31 out of 36 times green is going to have a shot to win and they're only going to hit 5.56% uh, of the time so what we're going to do to find out how often uh, white wins is we will multiply this 5.56 uh, number times uh, 31 divided by 36. It's uh, 4.78%, uh, which basically means that uh, white is going to win 95.22% of the time uh, in this particular game and only lose 4.78% uh, of the time. Now let's uh, take a look at uh, how blocking uh, changes the odds in this game. Uh, if we see this picture right here, we notice that green has every single piece blocked. And there's nowhere white can move. So basically, white cannot move 100% of the time when uh, green blocks six spaces. But let's say uh, instead of six spaces, green blocked five. How does that change the odds? Well, uh, if we look at the, go back to the dice odds here, and we want to know, okay, uh, if we take away uh, five numbers here, that means uh, white could only roll uh, one particular number, the number one. So if we eliminate those, uh, there's 11 in 36 ways uh, white could uh, not be blocked, or 30.56%. We subtract, uh, take one and subtract 30.56 from it, and this gives us a total of a 69.44%, uh, which is the chances that uh, white cannot move uh, if, it, if it rolls any of those numbers. Now, if we want to find out four, uh, we'll basically do the same thing. Uh, we'll take everything but the, the number one and two, and uh, those are the only ones that uh, we will count. And there's 20 and 36 uh, ways that uh, white could roll a 1 or 2. So 55.56%, we take 1 minus 0.556. That means uh, those spaces are not blocked. And that gives us a total of a 44.44% uh, chance that uh, white can't move if uh, four spaces are blocked. Now, if we want to find out the answer to blocking three, well, we do the same thing here. We look at uh, how many different ways uh, white can uh, move if they roll a one, two, or three, or how many different dice have the one, two, three combo with it. We get uh, 27 and 36. 
75% uh, are not blocked. And we subtract 1, or take 1 and subtract 0 0.75, that gives us 25%. Uh, that means there's 25% of the moves are blocked. Uh, we do the same We do the same thing uh, for two spaces, which would give us 11.11%. And if we block one space, uh, that means there's one particular move that is blocked. Uh, so 2.78% of the time, uh, your opponent will not be able to move. Uh, if you only block one space. And this is basically how uh, blocking uh, changes the odds in this game. Now, uh, let's take a look at another number uh, from this game, and uh, that is the minimum number of moves to win. If you look at this board in front of us here, uh, white uh, can, has a number of different options. We want to know what are the minimum number of uh, moves to win. If we look at this pile here, there's uh, five pieces, and they have to move six spaces, so a total of 30. And we're going to add this pile. Three times eight is 24. These three spaces have to move uh, 24 total, or these three pieces. And if we look at uh, this pile right here, uh, these five pieces have to move a total of uh, 13 spaces. It comes out to 65. And these two pieces have to each move uh, 24, uh, that comes out to 48 spaces. If we add the 65, 48, 30, and 24, um, that's how many spaces we have to move. That gives us a total of 167 spaces. That's the minimum number of uh, spaces we'd have to uh, move uh, to win a game. Obviously, this is not taking account uh, blocking or having one of your pieces captured and uh, different uh, defensive uh, moves you can put up. And uh, that pretty much uh, wraps up our uh, basic odds. Uh, thank you for watching.